Thanks for staying up with us tonight. We are still finding answers about why a Fayette County man who police say ran a stop sign Saturday was beaten up pretty badly inside his home. Our Brittany Clemens has been staying on top of this and has new details after talking to a retired captain who specializes in law enforcement training. Is what happened after Brandon Calloway flew through that stop sign that's steering up controversy. The cops you see in this video are now being investigated by the state. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! TBI confirms to ABC 24 it is investigating the officer's use of force. Video of the incident shows two officers hitting Calloway in the face at least seven times with their batons. The video also shows the officers tasering him and then his face blooded. Calloway is made to lay down again and one of the officers is seen putting his boot on Calloway's head. Seconds later, the phone recording the incident is slapped out of the witness's hand. Very, very rarely heard of police officers kicking in somebody's door without a warrant. You need a warrant to do that. Retired Shelby County Captain Beanie Cobb now consults law enforcement agencies on police de-escalation tactics. He tells us, based on the witness video, the Oakland officers broke the law from the moment they kicked in the door. And the law says that to come into a private residence, you have to either be indicted in, even if you have a search warrant, the law says that you knock first, and then you announce, and then depending on what the charge is, you can force your way in. According to the affidavit, when officers tried to arrest Calloway outside of the home, he ran inside. Captain Cobb says at that moment, Officers should have de-escalated the situation. The best thing they could have done and should have done was knock on the door, try to negotiate, try to try to get them to come out, maybe call the phones. And if that wasn't successful, the next only thing he has to do was to get a warrant. Captain Cobb also says the use of batons and the tasing of Callaway. <laughs> Not to mention stepping on his head was both uncalled for and excessive. The video clearly shows the officers were out of control. He adds the use of force not only put Callaway in danger, but the officers themselves. The tactics was bad. When I say tactics, you go and you kick somebody's door and you go in and you start chasing somebody where well, you don't know if you got a wanted criminal in another room. Oakland police say they can't release any body cam or other video that they have of the incident, but we'll continue to follow this story. Reporting in Oakland, I'm Brittany Clemens.